Now, that wasn't Kiwi Rail's only apology today. It was also forced to say sorry for what it called an horrific incident involving the Kaitaki Ferry. The ship lost power off Wellington's south coast in January with nearly 900 people on board. And as William Tariti reports, a preliminary report has found a crucial but ageing piece of equipment was to blame. This was the Kaitaki Ferry the night it lost power in the Cook Strait in January, endangering hundreds of lives as the vessel drifted towards rocks. It was certainly a critical incident. A critical incident caused by this old rubber joint rupturing in the ferry engine's cooling system, according to a preliminary report by the Transport Accident Investigation Commission. Kaitaki's rubber expansion joint was 13 years old when it was installed in 2018 and 18, year old, 18 years old by the time it broke. That goes against the manufacturer's advice to install the piece of equipment when it's near to new and replace it every five years, which costs less than $1,000 to do. It should never have been on the ship. Uh, we've addressed our safety critical systems since that date, but that's a failure and we agree with that. Wellington Harbour Master Grant Nolder says it's a miracle no one died. The event could have been much worse. It could have ended um, quite badly. The report recommends all vessel operators using rubber expansion joints like the one used on the Kaitaki should be inspected every year to ensure that they are fit for purpose and should be replaced every five years as per the manufacturer's advice. We certainly hope that the industry will take it on board and it, of course, is much wider than just Kiwi Rail. It's all um, the maritime industry operating in New Zealand. Kiwi Rail's boss apologetic for yet another stuff-up. The event at end of January was extremely distressing for passengers, extremely distressing for our crew. We have apologised for that. It was a horrific incident. The final report and recommendations are expected to be released later this year. William Toretti, News Hub.